Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That was a hellacious bite on the flat line. All of them. All those are big. All of them. Woo! If you keep up with the fishing reports in the Oregon Inlet Outer Banks area, you know that one of the best tuna bites in recent years just took place. It lasted for over a week. The yellowfin tuna bite was extremely consistent and people were bringing back limits every day for an extended period of time and they're still catching them pretty good. I was lucky enough to be able to get out with my friends when the bite was good and had what I consider to be my favorite day offshore so far. We caught a lot of yellow fins and we even had some big eyes in the mix. Got most of it on video. Hope you enjoy. You want to put a bar out? I was setting up a spreader bar when we got our first bite of the day. Things were kind of slow, so I wanted to stick something out there to uh, draw some attention. We were pulling teasers, but I always like getting some stuff out there for the fish to come up and look at. Oh, oh there we go. Just, he's good. Yep. yep. It's a big, big fish. We have a pretty nice crew most of the time going out there to fish. A lot of people that know what to do so that when a fish gets hooked, everybody is working on getting lines out of the way, helping the person who's fighting the fish get in whatever position they need to get into. And also the whole time we're making sure everything's ready to go for as soon as we either land that fish or lose it so we can get right back to fishing because the faster you move out there, the more fish you'll end up catching at the end of the day. You just listen to the fish. Are you stuck or are you okay? Is that as far as you can go, Scott? Because Caleb can, yeah, Caleb should just do that. Gills. Oh, yeah, you see him under the water? Yeah. Whoa. Psh, 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 psh. Oh, life. The tune is still going, dude. There he is. Ah. Oh, oh. He's, he's still is he on, on it? He's on there. Nice. Yeah. Take it to that rod holder right here. He's going. I don't think there's much drag on him. Slow down a little bit. I'm in the backing. Slow down. <laughs> that was a lot of, there was a lot of line. No fighting chair on this boat, so you're either fighting the fish stand up or you can put the rod in a rod holder. When a fish is really far away from the boat, especially if it's just a tuna, I'm all about sticking it in the rod holder uh, to save some energy because we knew we probably had a lot more tunas to crank in on this day and there's no reason to exhaust yourself just because you want to try to be a man and fight it uh, stand up the whole time. We also would pass the rods around so that everybody's fresh and full of energy and we can, you know, operate at the speed and efficiency that we needed to to, to put a bunch of tunas in the boat. All right, if somebody's going to take over uh, with a belt, he's been getting pretty close. He's freaking out. You ready? I see him. Forward, forward, forward. You'll hear me yelling forward several times in this video and usually uh, with some urgency. When you're pulling on a tuna, you've got a lot of drag on that fish and it's a really big hook. And so it's gonna tear a hole in that fish's mouth. 
And if you think about when you go to unhook a fish, what you do is you grab that hook shank and you push the shank of the hook towards the fish's tail to rotate that hook out of his mouth and back it out. Well, if that fish is swimming towards the boat and you have that taut line and then the fish swims past the boat, that same movement is going to happen with that hook. And so you'll end up pulling fish off if you let them get in front of the boat. And so that's why you'll hear me yelling forward all the time is because we're trying to keep those fish behind the boat so that they don't get unhooked. Do you want me to move this? Uh, we got it. I got it. You got it? No, you didn't. That's in his rib cage. You're all good. Every fish you see in this video got bled, even if you don't see it. Sometimes I'm not going to include it, but I know that it worries me when I see videos and it looks like people aren't bleeding their tunas. I make sure to do it every single time. I need Rodney. Doesn't look very big, but I can't tell. <laughs> Small fish. Nah, he's short, I bet. We'll check him. I think he's short. 27. 25. Dang. We caught at least half a dozen short yellowfin this trip. It's unfortunate because you want to put a fish in the box, but the small ones are so pretty. Big fish? Yeah. I was gonna see if we can. Uh, no, what else? Yeah. Hey, uh, I think we got. I think we might have a real one here. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Here. Straight up and down. Yeah. I see him. Forward. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's a yellow fin. You want me to grab the leader and pull on him a little bit? Or? All right. Yep. I can't reach him. Can't reach him. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stab because I'll lose him. I'll lose the gaff. Some tunas use all their energy before they get to the boat. Some of them save it for right when they get to the boat. And we knew this fish had come in fast enough that he was probably going to do what he just did when I put the gaff in him. So I was being very cautious. <laughs> work, Let's get a picture with him. Yeah. We already got all of our lines out. Yeah, oh, really? That's cool. They're all, well, we didn't have to bring them in. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, and hey. nobody's holding the camera. <laughs> here, wait, let's get him right here. Wow. Got him. Oh, fish on! Oh. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. It's just, but it's metal. It's okay. But yeah, it, Oh. oh no! Did he pull off? Is he there? No. 
He's still, I think he's gone. No. Nope. Hold the hook. Pulled him off. All right. Get him back out. Like I talked about earlier, we had a pretty good crew going. So as soon as we lost that fish, everybody's already picking up rods, re-rigging baits, the boat's back in gear, and moving quickly like that and all working together is a really big key to bringing in a nice cooler full of fish at the end of the day as opposed to just a handful. It really does make a big difference. Every single one of them. They're, they're, in here. they're still fighting one. You could have knocked me out here in a second. They were like pulling a big chain. It's always how it is. What is that? Somewhere. Teasers. Oh yeah. There he is. Nope, nope, jig it, jig it. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Is he there? He's gone. He's gone. You want to crank it in? There he is. He's there. We got him. I want this rod holder. Here you go, Will. Oh, there he is. Short. Got him on. Oh, yeah. Yep. My fish is right here. Gaff. Oh, I pulled off. Was it? Oh yeah. It was a nice fish. Yeah. You don't need a leader or anything, or you? Forward, forward, forward. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Crank, crank, crank on him, crank on him. Will, you need to come over here. Come over here, Will. Come over here. Above Caleb. Up, up from Caleb. Real, 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 real. Bump it. Hey, the line. Okay, we got him. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch another one. Four. Mine came off. Oh, yeah. I need a rubber band. Where they at? Right there. Right there. They're in range. I don't see him. Should I just throw? Oh, there they go right there. It's a little fish. Oh, crap. Yeah, look way back there. They're going to get in our spread. They're little, little fish, though. Get the troll back to speed. We're gonna catch him. Yeah, yeah. Put it. Put yeah. Do it. There he is. Keep it. Keep it in gear. Be there. Oh, there we go. Oh wow! Oh, those are big. Leave them. What do we get this out of this rod holder? Yes. I need a belt. Or if you want to take this here. Uh. Right, Maggie, that rod you're Hey, uh. 
Hey, uh, Scott or Brent, come over here. Take this one. No, Scott's still got his. I'm trying to figure out where I am in relation to Maggie because she's in. Yep. Here. Yep, underneath here. Yep. Oh, that was screaming. But I mean, it's a 25. But... I had a lot of drag on it. I got a lot on him now. Yeah, that's what I put it. He's still, when he wants to go, he's going to take it. Because I had it set there and he was still feeling drag. Go over me, Will. Yep. Work around, Work Big fish. Gonna need some forward, Eddie. We'll go to the rod holder. Make sure it locks. Lift up. Yes, yes sir. Okay. This is right where we want them. I think me. Will, you're going to have to go out of the holder <clears throat> in a second. Yeah. Forward, Eddie. Yep. Yeah, the wire. wire. Okay. All right, here, get ready. Hi. Ready? All right, put right in your belt. Yep. And go over them. Perfect. All right, just hold on, let them. Here he comes up. Y'all ready to wire? Oh, uh, no, he's staying down. Yes, sir. Might be able to do a wind blow. We might not even need a wire. No, it's going to get caught in the reel. Yeah, it's going to get caught. Okay. Just slide that way. Start wiring. All right, all right. Bumping in and out real easy. Not too hard. Forward. Bump it in and out. Let's go! Woo! That's a big eye! Let's go! We got big eye bites! It's a little big eye. Alright. We can put it back in the rod holder. I'll, I'll just help you. Great, we'll, thank we'll, you. I'll give you, a few, I'll give you a few seconds to rest. Yeah, I've never even seen a live big eye before. Will, you ready to get on this rod? Yeah. Right, you set the gap down, set the gap down. Oh, you're good. Put it right in the rod. You're good. He's going to pick it up, I'm going to wire it. Right, get behind me. Yeah. Get behind me, I'm going to back up to you. Okay. Start cranking. Best you can. Keep it going, Will. Keep it going. Yeah, Will. Will's making good progress. Might need some more forward, Eddie. That's a uh, that's that chain. Yep. You got him, Will. You got him. Oh, it's deep color. Go forward. Hey, watch out. We might turn it over to the right. Forward, Eddie. Yeah, I'll go. Damn, girl, you want to switch? Keep them forward, Eddie, forward. forward. Alright. Four more, four more. Another big eye. Another big eye. Woo! They're getting bigger. 
Hey, We're getting bigger. Scott, Scott's got the real one. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh. I stuck in this one, but I didn't do okay. it. his tail and get behind me. Grab his tail. Alright, ready? <laughs> Look at Caleb. God bless. <laughs> Where the hell is this big Little bump. Little bump. I don't I didn't get him good. Oh yeah. Let's go! Woo! You see it? Yeah. Keep got a show her. Do you want me to crank? Yeah. Oh, there's still a lot of fish on here. We're going to need a gas. <laughs> wow. Maybe <laughs> not. No, there's... <laughs> Thank you for taking one for the team there, sir. Yeah! There he is! Yeah! I don't know. I don't think he's there. He's gone. It's a nice fish. He, he, he missed it. That fish was huge. Keep it. You want to try to get another one or we got to? All right, let's try to get this one. All right. Oh, there he is. Woo! Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is he there? He's there. What were y'all doing? No, it was just out there. This one don't even know he's hooked. Well, let's get him while he's confused. Oh, there he goes. Now he found out. He found out. Oh, yep. There you go. He found out. Yeah, don't put too much. Shoot. We found out that he is very well hooked. I don't think you're locked in. No, no, we're locked okay. in. He just, it's weird. The fish, like. And let me know if you want me to sub in. I can, yeah. We can just switch. Right you wanna, now, it's. You good right now? Yeah, or I'm you, good right now. Just kind of. Because we can totally go back and forth, so we're both full of energy. That's right. I can jump in yeah, if you want. You're good. He's tight. Yeah, he's tight. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, might be. Might be. Yeah, looks like. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, hopefully he's distracted with this one and. I have no idea. I'm just leaning because I don't want that rod to come and crack me in the face. That looks like a tuna head shake. It's a head. Is it a big eye or a big yellow fin? Yeah, here, I'll chuck the head to try to distract the shark. Well, I think it distracts them. It might distract them. What do y'all think? Okay. 
getting ready to see Cole. Give it. Do we need some forward? Or are you good? Yeah, keep keep bumping forward. Keep bumping forward. Hey, let, let Hunter there go. Let's see if he'll grab that leader. He's still hold. Yeah, he is. You gonna stick him? Yeah. I might need the big gaff. I'll back you. I'm not holding on to it at all. Okay. There That's you go. Bump. Come on, bump. Got him. It's a nice yellow fin. Hit that left long. Oh, yeah. Came off. Hammered on left. Left yep, long. yep, left long. Boiled on it. Got it. Go oh, right low, uh, right short. Right, right Got him on. Woohoo! That's it one. Uh there was another one on the long, just boil. Get ready. Here, I'll, I'm gonna All go right. down. Yeah. Yeah. Might be off the right though. <clears throat> you got one fish on. Staying up high. Yeah. Yep, yep. No, I don't want us to get worn out. Oh, we need more drag on him. Damn. All right, you want to get back on? Yeah. All right, come on, man. It's easier that way. Hurt, hurt. Go. What do you need, my gloves? Uh, no, because I'm going to probably go to the rod when he gets okay. real close. Go forward again, Eddie. How close is he? He's pretty close. All right, I'll... He's pretty close to get him up here. There he is right there. Forward, Eddie. Forward. Forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can just crank him probably if you want. It's a wide one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out of Scott's yep. way. Get out of Scott's yep. way. Yep. There he goes, Scott. Yeah. Good shot. All right. Strike still. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this at all, guys. I'm beat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm. I'm locked up. locked up. I'm tight. And there's a lot of drag. I'm, I'm leaving that up to you, Caleb. Scott, me and you can work together on this. You're not locked, are you? Nope. What? No, because I got bent up. There it is. Probably. Are you locked in? Is it locked? Or do we need to pick up on it? I'm trying to wait with that. You want me to jump on, Scott? Yep. I don't know if I got it in me. Oh, there it goes. Ooh, that's not good. That's a start. 
No, that's still tuna. Okay. We caught a lot of yellow fins this day, ranging anywhere from 10 pounds to probably over 50 pounds. And best I can come up with is that they pull a lot harder when there's a shark chasing them because sometimes we get excited and think we'd have a big fish, but really it was just a nice sized fish, but there were sharks around. Yeah, got him coming again. Is the clicker on or off? Just... Hey, oh, splash the gap, splash the gap. Hey, let me get a gap. Throw one of the heads. Throw one of the heads. No, it's fine. Oh, here, watch out. Throw him ahead. Throw him ahead out of the cooler. It has actually worked for us before that you're hooked into a fish and you throw a head of another tuna over the side and it distracts the sharks because I think. They know it's way easier just to go eat ahead than to try to pursue a whole live fish. This one needs out. More forward, Eddie. Well, we still got this one. Yeah. Uh oh. Ah. I don't know. Still good. Forward, Eddie. Still good. I don't know. Forward, Eddie. Forward. Looks like a good fish. It's a big guy, isn't it? No, it's no, a yellow fin. That's a nice one. Let's go, boys. Whoa. Well, that's a good way to end the day. Thank you. Awesome. Ooh, that is that is hard work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Take that one out. Hey, look, something that one out. In, in that cooler. Probably yeah, you might be able to stick yeah, one in a couple of hands in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's all she wrote. We had four big eyes and 10 yellow fins, I believe, not including heads. I got more tuna stuff coming up.